It's been about seven days since applying the three baddest coatings that I could find on the market from Ethos Max, C6, Hydrolite, CCI Advance. We're checking them out. It's finally time for the first wash on the side of the tell you right there. And while we're at it, we might as well go ahead, run through the remaining sealants, see how they're doing, see who's uh, still going strong. We saw Armor, Ethos make a comeback, and uh, Griot's Tough as Shell doing their thing. We'll see what they're doing after a week of uh, abuse in the heat and the bugs and the grit and the grime as we got going on around here. Also, we got the easy peasy coating. Stoner, paint ceramic, blue collar seven. I don't know what happened to my DIY five. And uh, I forgot to put the no hype coatings on here, but they're over there too. I'll get them bottles in a minute. And on the glass, we got armor glass, rain dance glass, and CCI glass. And there we go. There's the no hype bottles. We got no hype one on the side of the telly and no hype three as well. So we'll check on them. And this is, you know, this is probably the greatest coating update in history of coating updates. So the plan is a lot of y'all wanted me to bust out the PNS 3PH system, technically. This is a PNS crystal wash we'll use as our pre spray. Knock off, uh, let that pre soak go to work. It dislodges embedded contamination by crystallizing basically pulling it off surface, then you foam on false bite, which is an effective surface cleanse snow foam. And looky here what we got rigged up. A lot of y'all wanted me to try this out, so you know what? We're gonna give it a rip this week. I'm gonna use what probably left of frostbite I got by putting the griot's head right on the bottle. See how it works, see how it foams, all that good stuff. So let's check out what we're talking about out here. We got some heavy bug contaminations on the front. Our, uh, you can still see the tape lines through all the dirt. It's quite easily visible, especially with this nice little overcast we're getting today. So you can see how much cleaner the coatings are from the tape line, which that might have some tape residue, so that's not helping either. So we'll be checking up on them. All that good stuff in this one. So first step, we're going to pre-spray with a little... PNS crystal wash. It's gonna help us out. We're kind of just making sure our coatings are all cleansed up. Just like to give it a spritz all over the place so it can go ahead and start doing its thing. Definitely shouldn't need to do it to these three at all, but we're just gonna get go ahead and uh, give it a crystal wash and uh, see how it does. Spray it on our sealants. Shoot, we'll spray it on the glass. See how them glass coatings can handle it. Now let's get that frostbite attached, foam her down, let that soak in, and then we'll give it the rinse off and check out the initial hydrophobics. You can see the tape line on this door panel as Crystal Wash sets up. Pretty cool. Again, we have CCI Advanced. C6 Hydro and Ethos Max coatings. All right, let's give the frostbite foam down. All right, we got the sealants first. Let's give them a rinse for that initial water behavior.
again. Pretty cool to see armor bounce back just midway through the challenge. Pretty funny. Griot's looking as strong as ever. Six, what are we, six, seven weeks in? And look at that. That is wild. Jimbo's isn't looking too terrible. And Ethos resists down in the worst position, but still, still sticking around for sure. But Griot's still unmatched on the initial inset. Let's check out the glass coating. These things just refuse to take a hit. All right, DIY, looking good. Go back to the no hypes. No hype one is probably the most impressive coating. Might be on the whole vehicle. This is the most impressive coating. Look at the trim. The trim on no hype one is unfreaking real. Even way down here, it's not taking a hit. Oh, you can see no height three is actually looking really good too after the crystal crystal wash might have helped everything out a lot. This is this is pretty nice. It even brought back the trim a lot, so no height three. Oh wow. You can see the difference. We got the no protection panel. We did the CCI test on this, and you see that CCI square is still there by the way. And that's not even the final form. So even though we said it's a flop, I mean, it, it's still there after uh, that initial test. But I have the finalized version now. We are going to test out on the same square. So we'll be polishing that off, putting the final version on. But anyway, no heights are looking great. You can still see the tape line. No heights are unreal. Let's check out Stone or Tark here. Looking good. Try and knock off all these buggies. Look at that. Knocking them right off. Crystal wash. Crystal wash and frostbite is an elite combination. BC7. Looking good. Easy peasy. Looking good. You know, the front of its trim is still looking pretty good too, so. Pretty good stuff from uh, Easy Peasy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, now this is the main event right here. So, CCI Advance. Let's check it out. Look at that, look at that. I'd say well worth the wait, in my opinion. Knock the bugs off. Mirror here. Check on the armor glass, looking good. All right, the out, uh, no, C6 Hydro. Pretty unfreaking real. I mean, is it more hydrophobic than advanced though? I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty close. And Ethos Max is pretty wild. You can see, let's try and get that fan pattern. Ethos Max. To hydro to CCI. Is it raining on me? It is. Why is it raining? The weather here is unfreaking real. So there you go. That's the initial water behavior. Ethos is unreal. They're all three pretty amazing. But I gotta say, advanced and height and uh, max is really sticking out to me. Let me wipe the camera off. All right, now I dusted the camera off a little bit. All right, let's 
try and get this again. Max. Hydro. Advanced. Hydro. Max. Pretty amazing stuff from all three. All righty, folks. Well, that was the ultimate ceramic coating update for this week. We, uh, crystal wash and frostbite, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. That's an unbelievable freaking combo right there. Knocked off all the bugs off. Seemed to restore the coatings in a way that, you know, we did clay them last week, so that helped a lot as well. But I mean, really, they were pretty dirty. So really did a great job of cleansing everything, even the sealants. As you can see, we've interrupted by the rain. So I'm probably just gonna pull it in, finish rinseless washing it, call it a week today. So no contact wash. There you go. Hope it was uh, worth the wait. We're gonna, you know, check on these in the future. The heavy hitters looked really, really good uh, for their initial uh, water behavior. So let me know what you thought about them in the comments below. Griot still ain't took a hit. Unreal. Unreal, this stuff. So, stay tuned for that. As that steel is transpiring, going through its paces, I think these three are the only ones trailing behind. And we'll see if anybody can make a comeback or is there a point where Griot's falls off or anything crazy might happen. You never know. Stay tuned for that. No hypes. Are unreal good job brad no unreal glass coatings all three still hanging in there still i think still performing 100 percent amazing glass coatings and the heavy hitters on the hood still looking good that's all i got for this week people let me know your thoughts in the comments for those who said throw the griots on the frostbite bottle y'all the real mvps because this worked phenomenally and you can see we barely used any soap i mean i started with not much more than that was able to put a thick layer on the whole vehicle, let foam, let dwell, do its thing, and it completely knocked off all the bugs, all the grit, the grime. Unbelievable combo right here from PNS. Do not sleep on it. All right, that's all I got for this one. Catch you on the next one.